Hi, I'm Walt Weisskopf, tenor saxophone player. I'm here for Rico Reeds, playing my old Mark VI with a uh, Auto Link 5 Star that I've been playing for 30 years. And I play Rico Jazz Select 3 Soft, which I've been playing for a number of years as well. And I want to talk to you today about an exercise that's based on a book that I wrote called Intervallic Improvisation. And it has to do with practicing triad pairs with respect to what you might want to uh, use on a major scale or any mode of a major scale. So on my horn, if I think about D major and extract a triad pair from D major, in this case it's going to be based on the fourth and fifth G and A, that'll work for any mode of that scale. And that means E Dorian, A Mixolydian, D major, G major 7 sharp 11, B minor 7 flat 6, and F sharp Phrygian, and C sharp Locrian. So each mode of D major will work with this one triad pair. And the triad pair, again, is on the fourth and the fifth. So in this case, it's going to be G major and A major. I'm going to play first root position, and then first inversion, and second inversion on my horn. So here's root position. <laughs> I played first G, then A. Now here's first inversion, beginning with the third. That was first inversion G, then first inversion A. Now we're going to play second inversion. And now we're back to root position. So first I'm going to practice these tries ascending, like so. And now I'm going to practice from the bottom of my horn, which happens to be, in this case, low B, which is first inversion of G. And I practiced these triads in a number of different uh, permutations. That was ascending triads, of course. Now I'm going to play descending. ascending and one descending. Now I'm going to play in groups of four. Now I'm going to play that descending. play one ascending and one descending with groups of four. And so on and so forth. And finally I have a little pattern that I like to wind things up with which goes like this. down the horn, I play. So that's enough material to get you going on any mode of that major scale. So my advice is to try and work that out first in the key of D on your horn and then obviously modulate to every other uh, key center, G, C, and up to circle it forth. So that's my treatise on triad pairs for today. <laughs>